of race, because of religion, because of culture. But I'm here to tell you that as a 66-year-old Malaysian, I am a racist. I have always been a racist and will always be a racist because Malaysia has always been a multi-racist country. <laughs> but I'll tell you what is the difference between my racism and Najib Razak's racism. When I was growing up, we made fun of all the other races. Malays are always lazy. Indians are always drunk and beat their wives. Chinese are always greedy, only want to make money to take back to China. We call each other names, China Babi, Malayu Bodo, India, don't know what lah. But at the end of it, we'll get together, go to Gopitiam and have a drink together. Back. Back when I was growing up in the 1950s, racism was around. But racism back then was great fun. We made fun of each other. And at the end of it, we were still brethren. We were still citizens of one country. Today, they try and tell us, you know, you're Malay, he's Chinese, you're Indian, we should be all separate, you know? And that is the, one of the things that I'm sure all of you will be voting to change, yeah? Uh, <laughs> all right, since you're in the mood, yes? yes? How come this side only saying yes, this side no one? Yes. What about this side, yes? yes? Ah, okay. You know, you all are very typically middle class voters. Uh, so actually, for myself and B. Yin and all the other people who are going to stand up here and talk, we are actually preaching to the converted, right? You all don't come here, so you won't vote by this one. So, <laughs> so what I'm trying to tell you is, we people in the urban area are merely the minority in the electoral role. There are a lot of our brothers and sisters who live in the villages and in the kampongs and in the estates who do not have access to information that you do who cannot or may not be able to make decisions the way you do. So I want to call on all of you, those of you who have friends, who have friends in rural areas, in small towns, pick up the phone, talk to them, convince them of what's going on. Yeah? And also, if you have an online account, if you have a Facebook account or a blog, please don't be lazy. Write, inform everybody that you know about what's going on. Can you do that? Yes. Yeah. Okay, while we're waiting for the next speaker, I'll tell you some jokes. Uh, you want yes. Ah, some racist jokes are always funny, right? We Chinese fellas are the most racist of all. We always make fun of the other races, man. right? Like, for instance, we'll say, the Malays are this and that and the other. But nowadays, it's very hard to make fun of Malays already, you know, because they are making fun of us. Because the Malay fellow tell me, hey Patrick, you mean when you buy house, huh, you pay full price? Huh? <laughs> or they'll say, <laughs> or they'll say, hey Patrick, you mean to say when you send your children to university, you gonna buy us in three years? You know, things like that. And then, of course, nowadays we can't make fun of the Indians. Because you look an Indian in the eye, the fellow will rob your ass, man. <laughs> right on. So eventually, I think even the Chinese will make fun of the Chinese themselves. Uh. Hey, Patrick, you mean you don't have PR yet in Australia? Why are you so bodoan? Anyway, we have our next speaker who is a columnist from an online portal that I'm sure all of you read. Have you, do you read Malaysia Kini? Yes! Let's welcome Mr. George Hong from Malaysia Kini. <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. Good evening, everybody. Uh, I'm very happy to be here because uh, 